What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists. And today we have something very, very special for you. We are here in Finlay, Bluffton, Ohio at the Grove headquarters. This place is enormous. They build the machines here, fully, fully uh, vertically integrated and not just the universal machines, but the giant production lines that go into, you know, the giant automotive plants, the giant aerospace plants. So everything from the more conventional to the highly specialized gets done right here. And there's an open house here today. It's called Five Axis Live. So I thought I'd show you guys some of these machines because they are next level. Let's take a peek. So the first one we have here, this is a G550. This is a beautiful, beautiful horizontal five axis milling center. Most of these you're gonna see here, they are a horizontal configuration. There's a couple reasons for that. If we come around this way, you can see something that's unique to Grove, which I've never seen before, is that these machines actually horizontally mill that in. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, they horizontally mill that in, but because of that, the spindle can actually hide in the side of the machine. That means you're getting full access to that entire work envelope without having to worry about hitting your tools off anything. And when it goes back in, it will actually tool change inside the side of the machine. So you can see they have a giant kind of bliss component going on on here. These things are absolutely huge. You can see the controls on these, familiar, but probably more advanced than what I have at my shop. This one has a full automation center with it. You can see they're doing some crazy, crazy demos here today. This one's with Seco and Open Mind. Look at that. This thing can get in all those little tiny areas. You know, you got to think of how difficult that can be. But of course, it is also on a pallet system. So a lot of the machines we're going to see here today do have pallets. These ones are of the type where you can have a different program on each pallet. You basically set this thing up and let it go. <clears throat> this one's going to come with a 16,000 RPM spindle and the actual um, pallet system here, they call it a PSSR. It has 13 to 20 pallets, depending on your configuration. You can see there's actually a couple levels in here. So you can have different work pieces, different sizes, you know, these are really helpful if you're doing some large work. So I could set up five of the same job in there. I could set up five different jobs or 13, but very, very cool. Let's keep it moving. Over here, we have a G350 center. You can see this is actually kind of a more conventional style five axis machine. Um, this one would be perfect for job shops, um, aerospace industry, of course, motorsports. A lot of the motor guys, uh, the moto guys, are using these. These are really big in, you know, that North Carolina, South Carolina racing environment. There are a few people here we'll talk to later that are actually from those companies. Over here, you can see a big thing they do here are integrations with robots. So you can see this is a, actually a full robotic cell. So this is paired up to a G350. And you can see, look how many pallets are in there. That is absolutely insane. That thing can hold an absolute boatload of parts you can see. So that machine's gonna be automatic loading and unloading. You can see they actually have a wash down center here as well. Oh, that's cool. You can see the robot's actually gonna open and close its own drawers there too. A robot that even cleans up after itself. As we come along here, you can see these are, this is another G350. Now, the one thing is these machines, not only, you might see three G350, 350s in a row, they're very, very customizable. So you can kind of build them to what you want in there. You can see they're running a bliss component in this one as well, I believe. You can see the kind of accuracy these things are capable of. That's why these uh, automotive guys love them. This is why the aerospace guys love them. Absolutely beautiful parts coming out of here. As we move along, you can see not only do they do the really fine detail work, there's a giant roughing demo going on in here. Looks like a two inch high feed mill just absolutely chewing material out. And it makes sense because you can see they're starting with a big block and this is what's coming out. Look at the surface finish on that. What a beauty. Again, this one's got that 16,000 RPM spindle, 31 by 40 by 38 inch travel. So your work area in there is going to be absolutely huge. You can see there's a lot of people here. We have our vendors, we have our attendees. Um, great event so far, just kicked off. Over here, you can see, oh, they're doing a little American flag belt buckle action in here. And the finishes, I think, kind of speak for themselves in this case. 
And you can see this is the same kind of automation cell that I saw when we checked out the German facility. This would be on the smaller end of automation, but you can see this one also has those part drawers. So you can have, I believe that's six drawers there with this robotic setup, so it will load and unload. I mean, theoretically, depending on your part, that could be loaded on Friday, come back Monday morning, reload it, and it never stops. So the real interesting thing about these is that you don't see a ton of them in the production, like job shoppy area, but you're seeing a lot of companies getting into them. And it's because they're so versatile. I mean, look at the size of this one. This is a G550T. Um, again, this has got that horizontal style spindle on it. You can see they're doing a turbine disc on here. So you always see the Christmas tree cutters. That's where all your rotors will go in. But look at that. I don't know if that's a, uh... oh, it's a mill turn. Yeah, so this one's a mill turn machine. So that's actually doing the turning in there and then standing it up and doing the milling. Pretty much anything you throw at this thing, it's gonna be able to do. Look at this monster. This is a G750. This one is huge. This is a five axis universal machine. So probably one of the biggest CNC mills you're gonna see in this place. Let's see if we can get a little closer to it. So again, you can see, look at the size of the workpiece you can put on that thing. The one thing I did see about these machines when we saw them being built is the castings for these things are massive. And what that's good for is they're super rigid, they're not going to you know, be subject to any kind of vibration. And look at that table. The size of a part you could put on there. Curl your hair. And again, I'm sure that a machine even this size, if you wanted an automation solution for it, it would probably be able to come with one. It's absolutely huge. Now, the really cool thing too, because I'll show you guys later, we're actually in the facility where they build these things. So later, we might actually get to see one of these torn apart so you can see everything that goes into it. Let's see if we can sneak down this way a little bit. It's down here, you can kind of see, that's gonna be where we're gonna cover later. We're not gonna go over there right now because there's just too much to see. Oh, so this one does, I don't even know what that does. I think that might be automation in the back of this one. I'd have to check. Sometimes it's hard to tell with these giant machines if it's the tool holding system or if it's the automation. But if you guys get a chance, this is going on today. It will be going on again, I believe, in just a bit, about over a year. But if you want any information on Grove machines, they have a highly responsive uh, team here. So please reach out. We're going to be talking to Tony Saloon from VAC Motorsports in a little bit. I believe he has a G350 in his shop. We're going to talk to some of those motorsports guys and see what we can see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned as we continue our live.